Six is on your side live. Good evening. I'm Norman Robinson. We began tonight with a new turf war that's being fought on New Orleans streets. But this battle doesn't involve guns. Instead, it's a war between paintbrushes. Tonight, Six on Your Side Live investigates graffiti and its possible gang connections. I really love this city. And one of the things that this city reflects is the architectural background of the city. It's, it's gorgeous. And to see people go around and destroy it, particularly after Katrina, that makes life really difficult for a lot of people that are trying to recover. Passionate words from a man who is very passionate about cleaning up New Orleans. Fred Radke's main mission, to eradicate graffiti. The target on this day is a lofty one. This billboard in Gentilly that sports one word, harsh. This has to be in front like this. Radke and about a dozen volunteers make up Operation Clean Sweep. Their tools, paint, rollers, rope, and determination. We just want to emphasize to anybody out there thinking about doing graffiti. We're back. We're back with a vengeance. And we will take graffiti out within seven days after anyone calls us, no matter where. We're not going to stand or take this from any graffiti artist out there that he thinks he's a graffiti artist. He's not an artist. He's a vandal. He's out there destroying what the city's trying to put back together again. Radke says in the last few days, he and his crews have painted over hundreds of places marked by graffiti. The paint on his hands and shirt, evidence of hard work. I like to see the gray on me because I know that there's no graffiti out there once we get done. You want the addition? And he says while all this doesn't seem to be gang related, it still could mean trouble. But if you're a regular person there in the neighborhood, you don't know the difference between some kid stealing a can of paint who's 12 years old and somebody out there that's gang related. And that's the important thing. It puts fear in the neighborhood. The people at Operation Clean Sweep don't let any obstacles stop them. They don't balk at climbing over fences. All right, we got it made now. The hard part was getting over the fence. Or climbing this high up to meet their objective. And they target neighborhoods all over the city, from the Garden District to one area particularly hit hard by crime lately, the Fallberg Marigny. One thing you can see over here on the flood wall, all those different colors of paint, that's Fred. John Luckett has lived in the Marigny for One some 20 another, years and says Fred Radke's group there, has helped make there, his home there, a little there, bit safer. There. You call him, he's usually here in three or four days. It depends on how much he's got. And of course, the graffiti is an indication that you've got crime or, and or criminal somewhere in the area. Radke and company make quick work of this billboard, painting over the last H in a matter of minutes, hoping his efforts will help make New Orleans the great city it once was. You okay? All right, you got it. That was Chris Fairbairn reporting. If you want to report graffiti in your neighborhood, you can call the graffiti hotline at 504-489-9694.